Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is the Little Bee to Me podcast channel. My name is Kayleen and I'm your host. Um, <laughs> it's been quite a while since I podcast. It's been about, ooh, what is this doing? There's something happening on my camera that I cannot entirely figure out what is happening. There we go. I think that's better. Ignore this. This is yucky. I got a pimple oh, that's just gross. But... Okay. Anyway, so <laughs> welcome back to my channel. Um, as you guys may see, I'm in my kitchen right now. I am doing some work and I wanted to kind of show you a little bit of what I'm doing. This is not a normal podcast uh, because I just haven't had time to. Uh, my son is sick and my daughter's home from camp this week, so it's been quite an interesting um, journey. Let's put you up here. Ah, sorry if that was loud. I also don't have my nice microphone set up so I probably sound a lot like crap. You probably hear the air conditioners and see a really interesting wallpaper back here that's really old. Like, I don't know. You've seen if you've seen dying stuff and then Drogon is over there. My little fish buddy. Um he's our betta fish and he's he hangs out with me while I die in my kitchen. But right now I am doing some rescaining here so you can see my swift and whoop, my skein winder and what i do is i am doing some tonal mini skeins that are going up in this week's shop update so i'm taking the skein putting it on the skein winder winding up mini skeins um i do this manually i can i do and i also have uh, just mini skeins pre-made but they're really difficult to tie on because the ties get very tight so you end up with resist lines um, so I prefer to just break them up myself which takes more time so I am working on an order that's going out that was mini skeins and then just a bunch of mi other mini skeins to go into the shop so I'm just gonna show you how I do that yes that's a hair dryer um, Now I have my yarn. It looks really cool. Um, and I am going to attach it to my skein winder and do, I think I have it set for 63 revolutions. So I'll try and bring you guys in closer so you can actually see what I'm doing now. So now the next step is I tie off the skeins. I have both ends at the same side and I saved my ties from the original skein because waste not want not. I tried to make as little waste as possible. So I do two figure eight ties, one on the bottom here where the two yarns meet. I tie all four ends together and then snip snip. And then I take one of the extra ties that I just made and I tie up here, off frame, uh, on the opposite side. Reset my counter, now I'm going to do the second one. This is a two skein skein winder. when you get carried away. I totally um, was not paying attention and I was thinking of something else and my counter's at 68 so now I have to rewind a few revolutions. That's 
what happens when you have kids and you can hear them in the background and you're thinking of everything that you are supposed to be doing other than work and the question in my head was what is my son doing because in the background he was playing with trains I think on the dining room table but he's been in the habit of um, climbing on the dining room table so climbing on a chair and then taking himself climbing on the table so that's always fun to do deal with when your two-year-old is on top of the dining table just ready to jump off like Superman okay so now I have two skeins on the skein winder you obviously don't need a skein winder to wind off mini skeins if you have a knitting knotty or you have a chair or if you have your arm um, if you know the distance between say your thumb and the bottom of your elbow you could wind mini skeins that way this is just the tool I have available uh, if I had a double swift, I could do two skeins at the same time instead of one at a time, which would make my workflow a lot easier. Maybe that'll be my next investment. But now I remove these from my skein winder, and I always make sure to retighten immediately because I've forgotten. So now I have the mini skein that's tied in two places. So here's the ties. If it will focus on my hand, that would be great. There it is. So here it is, and the other tie, I drape the yarn over my hand, so I have two loops on top, two loops on the bottom, and then I twist it up like a regular skein, and this is how I make my teeny tiny minis, which is really fun. I wish this would focus, it's just focusing on my Swift, my whatever skein winder. Here we go. So that's how I wind up these little tiny ones. I prefer winding them that way as opposed to taking them like this, like a normal skein where you, you would just wind both ends because I don't like the look or feel of like the really long mini skein. I prefer to have, there we go. I just totally did like double chin right there. Let's scroll you up, shall we? Beep, 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 beep. I love this tripod. Okay, so we have my mini skein. I literally just drape it over my arm, so I have two loops on the bottom, two loops on the top. Twist, twist, twist like I would a normal skein. Put both ends together and loop. Pull them through, and that's it. A little chubby mini. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, this is what I've been busy doing. I just you hear know, the kids fighting already in the background, just trying to manage going back and forth. Here comes Tucker. Cece was mean. Oh, come here. Come here, bud. Come here, bud. Tucker took what? The fan? You said you didn't want it. Hi. Oh, honey. My sick boy. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. <coughs> Aww. Can we get a like for Tuck? This poor kiddo. So I've just been trying to manage that. That's what I've been up to lately. Um, I am, I have some placeholders open for the giveaway. Can you say hi? Aww. For the giveaway um, in the Ravelry thread. So when I have a free moment to do so, I'm gonna start posting pictures of the items that I'm giving away for my one year anniversary. I think I have four threads open. I don't know if I'll use all four. You say, bah. say, who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Yeah, that's a stick. Oh, we're not going to pull it. Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? No, that's not Cece. That's Tucker. And who's this? Who's that? Mommy? You say, Mommy? Ow. Ow. Yeah, we don't bite. I bite. We don't bite. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> oh, <laughs> anyway, I'll see you guys later. I hope you're having a wonderful week. Um, I will have a little shop update on Saturday. I do have these mini skeins that should be ready to go. I hope. Um, Tucker, don't pull the power cord. Hey, hey, Tucker, look at mommy. Where's your blankie? Where's your blankie? Yeah, we're not going to pull that. That's not a toy. 
as Tucker tries to pull the cord out of the wall. Because that's my life. That's everything that is my life. It just is managing kids, trying to keep them from killing themselves and killing each other. Anyway, stop. Now it's been 12 minutes. It's been 12 minutes. Anyway, I have a bag of mini skeins that are just getting wound up. They should be ready to go for tomorrow's shop update. And I do have some kits that are going up. A dear friend of mine, Rachie Nguyen, she is a crochet designer. She has, is, <laughs> she's going to be, seriously. Okay, okay, okay. Mommy's had enough, no more. No more. Can you hear him say no more? I'm more. Um, she's, good, she's redesigning her Mother of Dragons dice bags, which I can just pop a picture here. And I've dyed some custom skeins just for her, just for her re-release. So I have a few sets of um, half skeins, like half skein sets of the Dragon's Egg colors from Game of Thrones that are going to be going up as well. I also have to divide those. I have a lot of, I'm going to be spending a lot of time in front of this skein winder uh, today. So it, I guess that's really about it. Um, if I can film a regular podcast, I will. Um, at some point, maybe this weekend. If not, definitely next week. And I'm gonna try and get those. Wow, the lighting is like, what is going on with the lighting? Um, anyway, that's my brain right now. My brain is just in this place, 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 all at the same time. So, have a wonderful weekend. And if I see you at shop update, great. Um, a reminder, I do have a coupon code active in my shop, which is should be active through Saturday. Um, it is called Thousand Thanks, and it is for 15% off in my shop to celebrate uh, 1,000 sales in my Etsy shop. We are, I believe, nearly there. I think I only have a few sales left to go before we hit 1,000. So um, as a thank you, that is what I am offering. So I hope you guys have a great weekend, and I will talk to you soon. Bye! One minute, 37 seconds later. You know those moments as a parent where you really question, like, did I really make the right decision having two kids so close together? <sighs> you be the judge. Can you hear Mickey and the Roads to Racers? Yeah, that's happening. Also, do not cut fruit this way. This is very dangerous. This is a sharp knife. You shouldn't be putting your fingers on the knife. Two very boring minutes later. Do I want to take a picture of you? I always want to take a picture of you. Several song filled hours later. Now, let's finish what we were starting before. Five minutes later. What happened? Where? Where? There it is. Where? Uh oh. The train? What? Oh no. What happened to the train? Where is it? Where's your train? Train. Where's the train? Many hours later. Ten seconds later. You see you? Oh, oh you can't touch. <laughs> Thousands of tears later.
CC, do you want to come and wind this ball? Two hours later. Are you, are you going to take a picture? Sure, you want to climb up on the chair? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are you going to take a picture? Can we hold an anchor? Is this the anchor? That's the crank. A crank. Yeah. Is this your favorite part? Yeah. Yeah. Jeff, do you remember which way to wind it? Yeah. This way? Yeah. Ha! 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 Ha!